So do you uh, do you miss research? Because you are you are a legitimate professional astronomer, uh, 1987A supernovae. Um, do you ever miss it? A little. Yeah. Um, and and sometimes sometimes more than others. So I worked on on supernova 1987A for my PhD. Mm -hmm. Um, worked a little bit on COBE, actually, the Cosmic Background Explorer, yeah. after my PhD. That, that was already had its heyday. That was sort of winding down that project. And went from that to the Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph, which is a camera on board Hubble. Mm -hmm. So that was being built, and I helped calibrate it. Once it was launched in 97, a bunch of people started using it as, you know, cameras on Hubble. You hope they will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I wound up, because I helped calibrate it, everybody sort of was doing their science and needed a cal the calibration guy to right. turn their, you know, their, their electrons back into photons mm -hmm. and say, you know, what was coming into the telescope when we got this stuff out. And that was me and a few other people in my group. So I got involved with these tremendous projects looking at um, uh, supermassive black holes, uh, uh, well, actually some supernovae, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, forming stars, planetary nebulae. Um, oh, nice. The protoplanetary stuff was fascinating because at this point we knew there were planets orbiting other stars, but we had not seen any. Mm -hmm. And so to, to, to look at some of these stars and to get what we knew were the highest resolution visible light photographs of these gorgeous disks around mm. nearby yeah. stars. Some of them had spiral patterns, some of them were rings. Yeah, yeah. those are amazing. Yeah, and that was... We'll flash these up now because that's... Yeah, A, B, Orge, and, um, uh, you know, all these other alphabet soup stars. Mm -hmm. um, that was wonderful. Yeah. And then I, I, I decided, though, you know, I, I got a... I wanted to do more outreach, and I, I wound up going to Sonoma State University mm -hmm. to work with Lynn Kaminsky, who was a, uh, an astronomer, an astrophysicist, and we did public outreach then. Professional. We had grants from NASA to work on mm -hmm. Fermi and Swift and yeah. XMM Newton and all these great space telescopes. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, fantastic for a few years. And I thought, well, I just I want to do more informal stuff. I enjoyed the talking, the writing more yeah. than actually creating classroom activities. Okay. Got my uh, book deal for Death from the Skies. Moved yeah. to Boulder, and and here I am. So it was it was great. But every now and again, you know, yeah. it's just blue fuse. Literally, it, it mm. shorted out. Um, 2004, I think it was, and then in the last uh, Hubble surfacing mission, mm -hmm. Mike Massimino kind of literally yanked off part of this. That was <laughs> awesome to watch. He yanked the handrail yeah. off, pulled off a panel, fixed the board, replaced it, yeah. and Stis came back to life. And seeing that happen after it had been dead for a couple of years, it was like. You know, yeah. There are a couple of objects I wouldn't mind studying. See, I, oh, I saw cool. that, and I just wanted to be the astronaut up there ripping things out of the Hubble. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I, that would that's that would like my dream job. But well, I was watching this live. It was yeah, yeah. I was I was, I was watching it, was late it too. At night, yeah. And I, he was he gotten three of the screws off, and there are these big handles for the yeah. astronauts to hold on to the camera. The camera is the size of a phone booth, yeah. and he's holding on. He's got three of the four screws out, and the fourth one won't come out. Yeah. And so he went back to that one. And I thought, well, it's going to take a couple of minutes. I go out into the kitchen, and I'm doo -doo -doo, doing whatever I'm doing. And then I hear, you know, something like, oh, I'm just going to pull on it. Like, what? What? And I run back in. He's like, yeah, it's off. And I'm thinking, it's a $90 million camera. And he just, like, ripped the hand. Oh, my God. Yeah, what um, a hero. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. So, yeah. hey. I love this story. So, so now that now that your your main focus is on is on outreach, on communication, and so on, um, is there? Do you have like a like a sort of? Do you see yourself as an educator? Are you do you have a sort of educational <laughs> philosophy, or are you just doing your own thing and just kind of putting that out there and seeing where it goes? Mm -hmm. um, like, what do you see as? I mean, you're obviously an extremely prominent member of the community now. What what do you see as your position or your sort of responsibility in, in that? You say obviously, um, but to me, I'm just this guy who sits around at home, not wearing pants, writing about you know galaxy formation or whatever. Um, so it's, <laughs> it's what we do in our office. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. I, I mean, I wear pants in my office. I don't know, but I sometimes forget to wear shoes. Uh, yeah, okay. I, in fact, I do uh, do a check before I go out to get the mail or, or turn the camera on. It's like I'm just Skype with somebody. It's like, okay, we're in, we're in trousers. All right, excellent. excellent. Uh -huh. I, I do sometimes have Skypes with colleagues where I, the, I, the, the, the backdrop is clearly a headboard, you know, and it's like, I can <laughs> yeah. tell you're in bed, you know. <laughs> but, but that's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's the Internet age. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, and I, it, it's funny to, to work at home. Uh, you, you lose that social interaction sometimes mm -hmm. it, it becomes it, it can become difficult to put things in context mm -hmm. and especially especially too uh, when you blog the only feedback I get is when people discuss it on Twitter mm -hmm. uh, the comments 
or I get hate mail. Uh, and so that's it. And, wow. and I don't I don't have that sort of face to face anymore with yep. people. So right. it's it's an interesting problem of perspective. I mm-hmm. think um, I don't think of myself as anything. Um, I've done too many things now. Uh, it, it, there's there's a there's a big issue with some people like you know what do you call an astronomer? Mm. I haven't done research in in how many years now. I don't have my name on any more papers mm. uh, unless they're you know published in a magazine or online. Uh, so am I really an astronomer? And I think well yeah I got my PhD I passed my qualifying exams I think I can call myself an astronomer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I call myself a blogger? You know that that still sort of brings up images of people saying I had this for dinner. Here's a photo of it, <laughs> and, and maybe that'll go away. You know, yeah. and, and maybe that's just because I'm just some old, you know. Oh, I don't know. I think that's or, still there. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Still Instagram's there. made it worse, man. Oh, that's, oh. Yeah, no, no Instagram for me. Um, I, uh, I'm probably a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. So blogger, astronomer, writer. I mean, I'm an author officially. I've written. Well, yeah. three books now, if you count a joke book as a third book. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, um, but I don't, I, I tend, I tend not to classify myself that way. Holy cow. Planet's a concept. It's not a definition. This is Mike Brown, who actually yeah. discovered Eris, this, this object outside mm-hmm. of Neptune, and started this whole thing. And he, he came up with this idea of saying, it's a concept. If you try to mm-hmm. define a concept, you're going to run into trouble. Mm-hmm. So keep it a concept. Keep it fuzzier, and you're happy. And I've run into that professionally when I was studying brown dwarfs, because mm-hmm. I thought of them as failed stars. But mm-hmm. when I met people who modeled their atmospheres, who thought of them as planets, we were... Yep. We weren't right. communicating well, and then all of a sudden the light went off. We're like, oh, 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 you think of it like a planet, and you're like, oh, oh, you think of it like a star, yeah. and I was like, oh, now I see, oh yeah, and so I, I found that labels uh, box us in, yep. mm-hmm. and I, I think it, when you said that, and I had to stop, and it's like, I think maybe I don't think of myself with labels, and it might be because of that. Hmm. I don't, okay. I, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm, I'm interested in vlogging. <laughs> um, and and doing other things, and I, I you know writing a joke book. I've got a kids book yeah. I want to write. I've got other, these other things. Yeah. So um, I don't care if other people want to box me in. That's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a great a great approach. It sounds like fun. Yeah. I would like to possibly, if we are closing, yeah, to close with one of these phenomenal jokes. Yes. Ah, setting yes. it up, building it up. <laughs> we've been, it's we've the been funniest waiting. thing ever. Now tell us one. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, perfect. Let Your book sales will, will rest on this joke. Right? Oh, so, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. We have a lot of different categories. Uh, there's mm-hmm. history, uh, uh, physics, astronomy. Mm-hmm. I will say that, you know, although I'm an astronomer and a scientist, Zach is very familiar with science, yep. and, and there's a philosophy section and a history section. I wouldn't necessarily try to figure out who wrote which because, you know, we'll surprise you. He wrote some of the science ones, and I wrote some of the history ones. Yep. Um, but uh, one of my favorites is... Um, you're so superficial. You're a Klein bottle, <laughs> which I like. And and I'll note yeah. that, um, that's good. You know, yeah. people, no people won't get them all. I didn't understand all the ones Zach wrote, and, and he didn't understand the ones I wrote. So we have an index which explains all of them. Oh, and, nice. and, that is awesome. I had to. I wound up writing most of it because I just had the time. Zach was yeah. really yeah. busy at that moment, so I wrote a lot of them. And I had to look up a lot of the stuff, and yep. I wound up learning that a lot of really, really cool. cool stuff. So it's so it's an educational joke book. Yeah, I mean, education I and stuff we're going to say yeah. edutainment, right? I will I will insult you and say you're scientifically illiterate, and yet make you scientifically <laughs> literate at the same time. <laughs> It's Schrodinger's joke book. <laughs> that is, that is, that is, oh that man! Fun. Yeah, I'm totally, really I'm too. totally getting that as soon as I, as soon as I have internet access to do so. Yep, sold. Yeah. Okay. Yes, well, it'll be two dollars rich. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That way, it'll be the minimum. The plan is working. We're broke postdocs now. We can't afford anything. Uh, I'm a pint at a pub someplace yes. in the awesome. sky. <laughs> in that very cloudy sky. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but um, the clouds are upside down. <laughs> yeah. Or they spin. Yeah. yeah, it's spinning the other way. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Did you notice that with your shower when you you know the, the water going down? Actually, uh, when I came, I've been to Australia before, mm-hmm. and the first thing I did was I ran into the bathroom, even though not needing to. Yeah. <laughs> and and what was funny is I walked up to the toilet. I'm like, how, how, how do I flush this? <laughs> It's like, wow, that's culture shock. I don't even know how to flush the toilet. And there's the little buttons on the top. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And there are two of them. So now, and it's like, okay, why would you have two buttons in a toilet? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I can figure that out. <laughs> and I hit the button, and the, what happened was, first of all, it flushed straight down. 
which I thought, that's so funny, that's <laughs> perfect. But the other thing is that it went, boom! I mean, it really was with a huge amount of force, and I thought, that's that's Australia. That's, it's, a, that's it's a bigger good than talk. life. Everything about this place is just big continent. and larger than life. I just I laughed yeah. so hard. It was yeah. great. It was a bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! I, I know with my American accent. Yeah, that's right. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. I think we should, we should wrap up there. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, and, and um, thank you so much yeah. for for taking the time to chat with us. This oh, awesome. thank you. It's been amazing. Have fun editing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ben. <laughs> Bye. All right, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Talk to you. Bye. Bye.